What is going on guys DBG here and in this video we are going to be doing a video that I've been kind of waiting a while to do a lot of people have been asking me because of the whole tactically downgrading fixing people squads a lot of people have been asking me to like whatever give tips to this guy as he was going on with his series but at the end of the day that's not like this that's not what this was all about so basically um, in this video we all, like, I assume most of you guys know who MMG is. He's one of the largest Madden YouTubers, so go subscribe to him. Um, one of the um, biggest Madden YouTubers there is, and he also has decided to make 12 NBA 2K21 videos. So he hasn't played much 2K this year, and he did an entire wheel series. series. So basically, he spins a wheel before every game, and he gets to... He basically gets something from the wheel every single time. And if he wins the game, it locks the wheel locks in. If he gets a rage quit, he gets another spin at the wheel. And if he loses the game, he just he gets his team reset. There was also forfeits and stuff, so I would suggest you guys to watch the entire series. I actually did watch it. It was kind of it was very, very enjoyable. But my whole thing was that I wanted to wait till the very end of the series because I think the fact that he was using garbage cards made it even funnier. I did think that that made it even funnier, the fact that just just hypothet like just for example just for an example he he picked the trash can idols Carmelo Anthony as one of his dark matters so in this video we are going to be talking we're basically going to be showing what his squad could have been if he was a 2k sweat he's obviously a casual he obviously doesn't know anything too much about the game which is why the series was as good as it was but it is also fun to look at it if he had made quote the right decisions and how good the team would have been and also there are situations where you know, obviously a new player is going to win some games going to lose some games and if i do believe the situation where making the right decision that he would have won the game that he lost i am i'm going to take it as as he wins the game so i'm going to lock it in the, um, i'm going to lock in the card so anyway this is mmg's this is going to be mmg squad if he made all the right decisions Okay, so the first wheel spin that he got in episode one, I'm not going to show any parts of the episode. Obviously, these are the, um, these are the forfeits he had to do. So this is the team he started off with. So this is going to be MMG's team as we go on, and this is going to be, in my opinion, the fixed team. So this is the team he um, started with. So I think he went with all diamond starting lineup, all amethyst on the bench. So we went with the same thing. So if he had a run, if he... Like you're saying, I've had around. If he, not the correct lineup, if he was a My Team Sweat, struggling to speak right now, this is what he probably would have had. So for me, I have Justice Winslow, especially because he's on Next Gen, Blinders, T Mac, Robert Reed, Jade McDaniels, and Eddie Freaking Curry. Mo Bamba's not, Mo Bamba's the only one that's not a horrendous player. Like this, Giannis is horrendous. Wade is very weak. Um, Lillard sucks. Davis sucks. His bench, um, Boris Dio, you know, I'm going to actually keep the Larry. Boris Dio, Isaac Core, keep the Larry, Precious Achua, and Matt Bonner. Okay, so we are on episode one right now. The first wheel spin is... Um, I'm not entirely sure what the first wheel spin is going to be. When are you go? When's he going to make the wheel spin? Also, huge shout out. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I think Denver Struck might be editing these videos. Huge shout out to him. Also, huge shout out for... Um, Denver's are getting 100k as well. So, team wheel jackpot. So, he gets one card from a team. And the team that he ends up getting is the Memphis Grizzlies. So, the card that he chooses... The card that he picks up from the Memphis Grizzlies is this guy right here. So, he replaces Dame Lillard. Or he replaces Kyrie with Jamarant. So, he, he keeps Lillard on his bench, I think. Does he keep a letter on his bench? I need to actually see that. He buys, he gets, um. Yes, yeah, so he pushes Lillard to the bench and replaces Kyrie with Ja Morant. So, he can get any player from the Memphis Grizzlies. So, let's have a look. Let's have a look in terms of, like, the actual players that we have on the Memphis Grizzlies. So, we are on 2KDB right now. And. I sort by team. Okay, perfect. We can. Memphis Grizzlies. Okay. 
So we have to also take into account that this was on the 1st of July. So the likes of Marcus Olsen are not there. Okay, so. So. I mean, Juan Carlos Navarro is probably as good. He's probably as good. You know what? I'm going to say a correct decision. Jamarant. Jamarant is also not as good as these guys, but Jamarant, correct decision. So, to replace a Koro with Jamarant. And he's going to go into the bench because Jamarant, I believe, is better than a Koro. Actually, you know what? A Koro. There we go. I would go with this lineup here. First of all, that is a correct, correct decision he made there. Okay, so in the game he plays, he ends up, he's ahead, and he gets a Rage Quit. So, he has spent 90k MT on one player, on July the 1st. And the player he buys, obviously, he buys his favorite player. He buys Dirk. He buys Dirk to play a power forward. Uh, we, we, you know, every, like, you know that this is just going to be a, this is going to be a long, long video. Like, this could, this video could be quite a while. So, Dirk, I think he's, uh, he goes in there, does he? Yeah. And Dirk is who he picks. Okay. So, in our new universe, we look at, let's just, honestly, let's just look at updates from before July the 1st. Gauntlet Spotlight Sims is June 30th. So the Gauntlet Spotlight Sims will probably just come out. He has 90k to spend. Screw it, I'm taking Chris Weber. There might be better options. Oh, there's so many small forwards, power forwards, and centers, though. Hmm. I mean, Granger works pretty well, but there's no... I mean, Ben Wallace, maybe? Screw it. I'm going to take Weber instead of Okoro. Play Weber here. So, I'm going to take Weber with that one there. So, we've got actual team versus uh, the hardcore sweat team. Okay. So, we're now on to episode number two right now. So, the wheel spin that he ends up getting in episode number two. So, he can open one bo box of packs. So in the box of packs that he opens, he opens Splash Edition Deluxe Packs. And the players that he gets out of these Splash Edition Deluxe Packs, you can see it in his actual squad. He gets a whole bunch of Matisse Tybals. So you can see it when he ends up making the squad right here. So the cards are locked in anyway. Um, Where is the squad? Can I see the squad somewhere? There we go. So you can see he got Matisse Tybal. I'm pretty sure he got Marvin Bagley as well. I'm almost 100% sure he got Marvin, he packed Marvin Bagley. So he actually, no, he packed a Kongwu as well. So he got Onyeko Kongwu, who he didn't put in the team. He got Marvin Bagley, who he didn't put in the team. Because he kept um, Embiid. He got Jeremy Lin, Opal Chris Bosch, and Matisse Thibel. Okay, so. Thibel. Does Thibel make the team? Hmm, Lin doesn't make the team. Opal Chris Bosch does make the, te the team over Precious Achua. And so does Bagley. Makes it over... I'm gonna go Bosch, I'm gonna go Bagley here. I'm gonna start the two of them. Start Bagley, and probably start Bagley at the five, and Bosch at the four. So I would go with this lineup right here. And I would not play in Yekka Kongwu. Thibel is a close one to make the team or not. I think Robert reads that a little bit better. Um, and so is Dio. And I don't... Screw it. I'm going to actually replace Ja with Thibel. Who he pulled as well. So this is the team that I would be running with. The, the team that he has. He has... Where is it here? So he's got Thibel starting at the 2. Lin at the 1. See if Ja coming off the bench... Okay, so you got Ja coming off the bench. Lin. At the one. Tybal Wade off the bench. Tybal the two. He stays with Yanis at the three. Which is interesting. And he actually gets rid of Mo Bamba. And keeps him beat. 
That is a bold move, Cotton. Let's hope it pays off. That is a very bold move. So he only plays three of them. So that's going to be a tough team to win with, honestly. Okay, so... This game right here, it's close. 52 each. 58 each. Okay, 60, 64, 62. Let's see what happens. Tie game. Okay, let's see what he does here. Who does he hit the shot with? Who hits the white? Did he just smack a white with the... Oh my god, he just smacked the white on the, on the falling jump shot. How the hell do you do that? If I'm his opponent, he fell. He was scared of his shot and he smacked the white. If I'm his opponent, I'm breaking my controller on that shot. If I'm his controller, I'm breaking my controller. So that is a win. So after two episodes, this is what the team looks like. The MMG squad versus the, the DBG squad. With the, if the same outcomes happened. And two wins for two, though. That is kind of impressive. So, episode number three. He got Western Conference, Pink Diamond, and Galaxy Opal. Western Conference, Pink Diamond, and Galaxy Opal. And the player he chooses... Lads. Chooses DeAndre Ayton. Because you can see, suddenly Bagley's back in his squad... And Mo Bamba's in there. So he just got rid of Chris Bosch. He just yeeted Bosch out of the lineup like. So Bagley is suddenly now into the squad. And Bamba is in a power forward. He still has... And he's actually brought... He's brought Lillard back into the squad. And he's playing way that small forward. You're, what a weird lineup. Okay, so Dame back in here, Wade at small forward. All right, so. And then he got rid of Bosch for Aiden. Got rid of Chris Bosch for DeAndre Aiden. That is an interesting, interesting uh, choice. So for me, for me, there is only one option. It's Bobo. Bull Bull. It's Bobo. Bull Bull. Western Conference. Western Conference, Pink Time, Bobo. Bull Bull. Start him with Bosch. Start him with the five, probably a Bosch. And this is what the lineup would be. Okay, so. This is the lineup he's got. He got the Andre Aiden. It's interesting. So. He is in this game down by two at halftime. Down by 13. I reckon between 15. No, 21. 30, 30 or 23, yeah, I think he still loses. I think he still loses. So, DeAndre Ayton is out of the squad. I think Bosch comes back in, doesn't he? So, he has Bosch on the bench. Did he not lose DeAndre Ayton? So, we're going to start the next episode. Yeah. So, he starts the next episode with Bosch at center. So, DeAndre Ayton is gone. Bosch starting at center and he also brings into the squad he brings okay start the next episode he brings on yaka kongwu in at center okay that is a very bold move that is a very very bold move and then starts ja okay that's probably a little better than lin but for us we have lost Bobo. Ball Ball. So Jaden McDaniels is back into the squad. And we are right back to where we were. Doesn't matter which way this is. Because I still think he loses that game anyway. Okay, for this wheel, he gets. Is that just a player from the Denver Nuggets? Or is it an opal from the Denver Nuggets he gets? See to see that. Did he get an opal from the Denver Nuggets? Why is it just a wheel of players? Did I miss something? Oh, 
Okay, so it's Opal from the Denver Nuggets. Yeah, it is Galaxy Opal from the Denver Nuggets. And he took Jamarant. So he took um, Jamal Murray. Was his pick. Who played... I don't know where. Did he start Jamal Murray? Definitely bought Jamal Murray. He most definitely bought Jamal Murray. I don't think he put Jamal Murray in the squad. Did Jamal Murray start this game? Yeah, he did. He did. Okay, so he put in Jamal for Dame. I think. So he started Jamal Murray instead of Matisse Thybul. Uh, Giannis still started. Did he? Yeah. Okay, so this is what he did after this episode. Or this choice, he put in Jamal Murray. And for me, I mean, Danilo Gallinari. Danilo Gallinari at power forward for Opal Nuggets players is in there. Okay, there we go. And in this game right here, come back. He loses the game by 14, I'm telling you. If he lost with this squad by 14, he's winning with this squad. Um, I'm standing by that one. He wins this game, so this one locks in. Okay, now we're on to episode 5. We have to get through this one a little bit quicker. Because I don't want this video to be 40 minutes long. So in episode 5, his wheel spin. Is any player from the playoffs. Any player who's currently in the playoffs. And he, he chose Devin Booker. He chose Devin Booker. So. I'm pretty sure. Devin Booker comes in. If I'm not mistaken, Devin Booker comes into his squad at the two. Does he win this game? Yeah, he wins this game. I'm pretty confident Devin Booker comes into his squad. Yeah, at the two. So he's got Jeremy Lin, Matisse Thybul. So we lost it in him. So Booker. And then Giannis, I think, still starts. He's still got Wade in there, hasn't he? Yeah. And then Yaka Kongwu. Okay, so. Any player who is playing who is in the playoffs. Any player who's in the playoffs. Okay. That that narrows it down to like half the players in the game. And this video was on the 5th of July. I think he said he wanted to be 100 k so he didn't want to wait for players. So. It's an interesting one. So Pantheon Team USA had already come out. And so had these packs. And DeRozan wasn't the player. So if DeRozan made the playoffs, I would probably go for DeRozan. I mean, a point guard would work. A tall point guard. Diaz not in the playoffs. All these tall point guards aren't really... NBA players, are they? Screw it. I'm going for a curveball. Instead of a Devin Booker, I'm going to go for a curveball and replace Justice Winslow with Hero. I'm going for a weird curveball. Uh, you can use any player. I'm going for a weird curveball and putting Tyler Hero at point guard. I have def. Wait, I'm an idiot. Simmons. I'm an idiot. Ben Simmons at point guard. I'm not putting Tyler Hero at point guard. Ben Simmons at point guard. Any player in the playoffs, Ben Simmons a point guard. So he gets the win and locks it in. So this is the MMG team versus the DBG team. I think we could, if he made, again, if he made the right decisions, it could be pretty nice. But again, obviously he doesn't, like he's not a 2K player. He's, he's a Madden guy and somehow has, well not somehow, he's a, he's with the biggest Madden YouTuber and has the biggest 2K series there is. Okay, so. I think what? What did he get? Did he get five? Where's his wheel? Okay, so we got five USA packs. And three of them were Westbrook, I'm pretty sure. And then he also got AD and Patrick Ewing. So we got Anthony Davis, Patrick Ewing, and Westbrook. And he goes and puts him into the team and structures it like this. So he removes Bosch. 
which is a mad, which is a mental move. He started cheering when there was a number six for Team USA, and I was like, oh, God, he got LeBron when I first watched it. Like, nope, he got Ewing. And then he put in Davis. I, Westbrook did not... Westbrook did not make the team, surprisingly enough. Um, Davis for a Kongwu, which is a smart, definitely a smart decision. I do admit, I will admit that is a smart decision. So, Davis and Ewing. I would honestly just bring in Davis to the squad. Yeah, I would just bring in Anthony Davis. Ewing doesn't make the team. Westbrook doesn't make the team. So that's what I would do if I got those packs. I know. No, actually, Westbrook plays. He come, brings in Westbrook at the two and has Bosch at the five. Okay. That makes more sense. So Bosch in here. Chris Bosch. And Westbrook's a lot better than Wade anyway. So that is a smart decision right there. So he's got Russell Westbrook in there. Okay, his team's actually not unusably awful right now. It's not as strong as this team, but it's not unusably bad. It is not unusably, unusably bad. So he goes and up 24 to 8. Okay, that's a rage quit. And on his rage quit wheel, he has to pay 75k MT for one player. And the player he chooses... He's smiling. He chose the garbage man, Carmelo Anthony. He replaced Yanis with this garbage man. This absolute garbage man. He put in the squad. He put in the garbage man, Mello. 75k MT on one player. Carmelo Anthony. Um, it won't let me add in Carmelo Anthony. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we've got 75k MT. This is like, again, the middle of July. Um, give me... Freaking Team USA, Michael Jordan. Team USA is already out. Michael Jordan with 75k. Or Magic Johnson. Give me Magic Johnson. Give me Magic Johnson for... Um, start Dio. And let, let me bring Magic Johnson off the bench. He's a lot cheaper than 75k, but still. Still absolute demon. Um, Team USA Magic. Okay, so the wheel he had was phone a friend. And Denver struck. Chose Michael Jordan. So... He brought Mello. He had Mello off the bench now and replaced Jordan with Tybal. With Tybal with Jordan. And I actually don't. Because it's a phone a friend, I'm going to keep Jordan as the player. So let me just replace Dia with Jordan. So Bars Dia with Michael Jordan, Team USA, right here is the replacement. So in this game right here, episode number seven, we end up with a. Overtime game where he loses by three. There is no chance I'm not locking in Michael Jordan. He wins if he if he runs with this this team instead of this team. Wrong Jordan. Um it is it's GG's. So again, he loses this he loses out on this Michael Jordan. Which is a pretty bad loss, which means Yanis is somehow back into the squad. So, Yanis is back in. He's not even as good as Tybal. It's awful Yanis is back in. So, he, he definitely wins that overtime game. Okay. So, his wheel in episode number 8 was Eastern Conference Jackpot. So, he picks one Eastern Conference player, and the player he chose was Derrick Rose. I'm not even kidding. The player he chose of all Eastern Conference players, he ran with Derrick Rose. So we replaced Ja Morant with Derrick Rose. And you can use any Eastern Conference player in the game. I'm trying to even think who the best players in the entire game are. This was the 11th of July this was out. Updates. Hito Turkoglu was the 9th of July. Paul George is in there. 
Give me Hito Turkoglu. Give me Hito Turkoglu, small forward. Hito Turkoglu, starting small forward. Yeah, you could like you can definitely again get better, but just give me Hito Turkoglu. Okay, so in the end in this game, for Derek Rose, he is up by 12. And gets a rage quit. So it was steal a player. The guy's team was awful. He's not going to steal. He didn't steal a player. Okay. So. The MMG lineup versus the DBG lineup. Okay. What he gets in the wheel is. Oh. Five season rewind packs. He only pulls Boyan Bogdanovich. He gets five season rewind packs. And only pulls Boyan Bogdanovich. So. For him, where's his squad? Boyan Bogdanovic is now backing up Carmelo Anthony. So Boyan is in there. Backing up Melo. And does Boyan Bogdanovic make this team? He can't play at the two. No, he doesn't. Boyan Bogdanovic does not make this team. So, this is a... Just ignore the whole thing. Does he win? Yes, he does. So, he gets to win against the lock-in is Boyan Bogdanovic. Okay. He got Western Conference Pink Diamond or Galaxy Opal. For this one right here. And his choice, he took... Yao Ming. He replaced Chris Bosch. He replaced him with Yao Ming. When... Screw up, because I'm not going to... I'm going to go Wiseman. Because um, I've already used Bow Bowl and I want to use Bow Bowl twice. Unless it's making the final squad. James Wiseman at center. So after choosing Yao Ming... He went and faced... A guy running Steve Nash Diamond from the start of the year. Got a rage quit, I think. And on his rage quit wheel, got 30k MT one player. And for 30k MT, he bought Jimmy Butler. He bought Jimmy Butler to replace Boyan. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, 30k MT. Screw it. Give me Bobo. Yeah, that works. Give me Bobo there. Not this Bobo. Give me this Bobo right here. Okay, so this is probably... If you made the right decisions, you could have made this. Okay, takeover is busted. Okay, episode 11. We're onto, this, we're onto the penultimate episode right now. And he gets push-ups by 2KMT. So every push-ups he does, he gets 2KMT. He actually like 80,000. He got like... Or 41 push-ups. So he got like 80,000. And look whose name pops up on screen. Look whose name pops up on screen, lads. Did you guys see it? Did you guys see it? Dean Wade. The GOAT. Dean Wade. I'd be shocked if Dean Wade's not better than the choice he made. No, he probably picked Kobe. Kobe's actually a good player to pick for that price. For around like 70, 80k. That's not a bad player to pick up at that price, honestly. So he ended up he ended up bringing in Kobe for Westbrook. That's not that's a really good decision. That is that is a really good decision. Like in my personal squad, because you need a power forward center. Um Kobe wouldn't be my choice because I actually know Tybal. Like I really do like I mean I would probably bring in Rudy instead. Yeah, I bring in Rudy instead of Kobe, but it's it's a unbelievably uh screw up. No, I'll give you Kobe. I'll give you Kobe. If you, he made a good decision, he made a good decision, so I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick with that decision. Because if I can make potentially a better decision, but not a significantly better one, Kobe was a perfect player to use. Kobe is a perfect player to use in that scenario. So in this game, he is 
down by 12. I still think he... You kn I still think he wins with this squad. I still think... Down by 16, down by 14. This is less than a 16-point game. Unless he gets absolutely blown out. If it's like 20, then I'll give him the loss. What did that end up? Back to 11. No, he's winning. He's winning with this lineup. He's 100% winning with this lineup. I'm, I'm locking in Kobe. I'm going to lock in Kobe. So now, final episode, lads. The final episode. So his final wheel spin. The final episode of the biggest 2K series of the year. The final wheel spin is... It is Playoffs Galaxy Opal. And the player that he chooses is I don't know. Who did he pick? Oh, he lost Kobe in the last episode. Oh my god, he picked freaking LeBron. He picked LeBron. Oh my god, he picked LeBron. I forgot about that. He picked current series two LeBron three LeBron. And this is a point guard. That was his playoffs, Galaxy Opal. So the last player here, if we can get a two if Honestly it's power forwards, players, all players. Power forwards, Galaxy Opal, include secondary. That we're in the playoffs. Screw, actually, just go center. You know, I might... Do I just want to give him DeAndre Ayton? Do I want to give him DeAndre Ayton back? I think I might just give him DeAndre Ayton back. No, I like Lopez. Or Yanis. Definitely Yanis. Definitely Yanis. So, does he win the last game of the series? He wins the last game of the series by the looks of things. He destroys him in the last game of the series. So, he actually had a winning record with this team. Fair play. Fair play for a new player starting with a win with a winning record. So, he ends up going with Ja instead of Lin in the end. So, yeah, this is the squad he ended up with. Honestly, the squad's terrible, but, but the series was a lot of fun, which is all that really matters. That is all that really matters. But the crazy thing is, is that, like, I remember seeing, reading a comment and everyone being like, my team's, like, too many god squads for you to be able to, like, update squads with only updating one player at a time. But, like, the fact is, is that with the exact... The exact requirements and the fact that any close game he had, I believe with a better team, he would have won. And with the exact requirements that he had in the series, which came up with this squad right here. And obviously just three nothings at the end of the game. And with this squad right here, he could have very easily had this squad right here. Which is a whole nother ball game. This squad can compete with the best. With the best of the best. And this squad... I mean, it can more than compete. He won more than half his game, so fair play. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Obviously, lads, go subscribe to MMG. And also, lads, subscribe to the to uh, subscribe to his editor. Subscribe to Denver Shirk as well. Subscribe to Denver Shirk as well, lads. Go sub to him. Um, but, yeah, basically, that is it. The reason why I wait until the end of the series... Is because I was even reading comments. People were like, oh, DBG needs to help to fix it. That wasn't the point of this series. Like, this this series was a 12-episode series where he wanted to make a team. This isn't like the Jester series, where his goal was to go no money spent and be competitive. MMG clearly just wanted to have a little bit of fun for 12 videos. Which, it seemed like he did. And he won a couple of games, and judging by... The uh, response in the videos of 27,000 likes, 85 dislikes, and that being basically the case for all of them. Seems like the viewers did as well. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.